Welcome back. This is the Whiskey Couch in Pretoria, South Africa. It is the place where whiskey and food come together in delicious harmony. I'm Gustav and you are watching Whiskey Tasting and Food Pairing Review number 170. And it is also the second one in this first bracket consisting of five 12 year old single malts, one bracket of several more to come, which I'm reviewing and with which I'm doing food pairings as well. This first bracket consisting of these five 12 year old single malts, it's number two, in, and it is Deanston 12 year old. This is the food pairing, which is not yet ready. You can see it here, I've got a crepe which I have baked and I'm going to prepare it right here right now all I need is a bit of cream cheese and I need a bit of smoked salmon or smoked trout and I need some lemon wedges so the first step here's my crepe and I think I'm going to do it right here on this here platform Step number one, I need a bit of cream cheese, which I'm, which I'm just going to spread over this crepe, like that. Mm -hmm. Mouth watering. And then I need a few slivers of smoked salmon. So I'm adding that just on top here. And then I need... A few drops of lemon lemon juice so I'm just gonna drizzle a few drops of lemon juice and then I'm gonna get rid of the pips don't want that in here how am I going to get rid of those there we go number one and number two out of the way and we are almost ready so now it looks like this my crepe and now all I do is I just roll it and then I have the perfect crepe with cream cheese and smoked salmon filling cut it in half and a little bit for the pairing and this is what it looks like at the end of the day a crepe rolled with cream cheese smoked salmon and a few drops of lemon juice so that is my pairing food snack for the Deanston for today Deanston 12 year old single malt from the Deanston distillery Founded in 1965 and it is situated in the lower parts of the Highlands. This is our map of Scotland, Highlands, Lowlands. And right there is Deanston, quite close to Tully Barden. So right there, Deanston Distillery. It's owned by Distill International, who also owns the James Cedric Distillery in South Africa and it is situated on the banks of the River Teeth. It used to be a cotton mill, it looks like this, but it was transformed in the early 60s, 1960s to a whiskey distillery. And uh, what a beautiful single malt. This is it right here, Deanston 12 year old. Matured in ex-bourbon casks and interestingly enough, bottled at 46.3% alcohol by volume. 46.3%. I really, I'm quite fond of Deanston. I must admit, I've already reviewed, uh, what was it, the Deanston 12-year-old, I think, PX Sherry cask. And uh, it was really, really delightful, if I remember correctly. So let's see what the Deanston has for us. Today I've already poured my dram a little before the video started. There we go, Deanston 12 year old. Look at that amber gold color. 
dark gold color, sunset gold color, bit of legs forming there on the glass. And on the nose, creamy caramel and vanilla, honey, sweet oak, sweet fruits, some citrus. And then I'm getting some fruit candy and a bit of gingerbread on the nose, on the palate. Mm. The instant 12 year old, 46%. Rich, mouth coating, definitely some bourbon notes because of the ex bourbon casks in which it was matured. And of course, non chill filtered. And I think this is also natural color. Vanilla on the palate, malt, honey. Mmm, citrus, sweet fresh fruits, but some oak spices, cinnamon and nutmeg to bring a wonderful balance. For me personally, it's got a medium long finish with the sweet honeyed fruit sort of lingering together with a slight spiciness and something like a gingerbread note until right at the end when it finishes in a dry, in a slightly dry note. So I'm going to add a few drops of water and you can see there the effect of the water and I'm not in front of the camera at all. of the water there. Let's see if that opens up something more. Of course what I what I did um, experience with this whiskey is if you let it stand for a little bit it develops some wonderful rich fruity and delicious woody notes. So that is something that you can remember for this Deanston 12 if you let it stand for a bit. More sweet malt, more caramel candy on the nose. Mm -hmm. Smooth, rich, sweet, fruity and malty. If I have to summarize the instant 12 year old, I would say sweet honeyed fruit with some spicy malt balance. That would be my summary for this. The price here in South Africa is around 500, 550 Rand to 600 Rand. In the UK 50 pounds and in the US around $60. It all depends of course where you buy it and the price of course will vary slightly. And here we go. I've got the pairing. You saw how I prepared it. Crepe with cream cheese and smoked salmon with lemon juice drops. I'm using the lemon juice to connect to the citrus and the fruity notes in here. I'm using the smoked salmon to balance the fruity notes in this flavor profile and it works quite well. A, a sweet fruity whiskey, single malt whiskey with something slightly smoky and of course the other way around. One normally thinks peated smoky whiskey with smoked trout but it can work as well just the other way around. I call it a contrast pairing and it balances out and it works quite well. And of course the crepe will connect with the wonderful maltiness of this whiskey. So here we go. Crepe with cream cheese and smoked salmon. Wow, the woodiness 
at the maltiness. It just amplifies as you enjoy these two together. And the most wonderful thing for me, as I am enjoying that food snack and I'm tasting all the flavors and I'm nosing the whiskey, it is as if these two are just sort of, they just want to come together and connect. And this is fantastic. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me on this wonderful 12-year-old single malt and crepe food pairing journey. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click the like button, subscribe, refer your friends. And I hope to see you in the next video when I'm going to do the third one in this first bracket of five 12-year-old single malt whiskies. Until then, slanger.